from bad wigs to elevator boots. ABBA imitators can still drum up a dance in Thailand. <laughs> Thais love a party, and no one particularly cares whether this lot are the real thing. Does anybody like rock and roll? Or just a bunch of British fakes. ABBA is a good band, you see. I would like day to come back every year. I'm happy, you know, I can dance. I'm very happy to, to be here with them ever. Meet Jonas Anderson. A Swede by birth, he has lived in Thailand since he was nine years old. Now, at age 28, Jonas is the most famous foreigner in the kingdom, a star with more on offer than 70s pop and dancing queens. Singing perfect Thai, Jonas has sold hundreds of thousands of albums in less than a year. And he can pack a city department store with enough adoring women to make a boy band swoon. Oh, <laughs> Jonas rode to fame on the back of Luk Tung, Thailand's homegrown blend of camped up country music which exploded into a pop phenomenon in the late 90s when country folk who flocked to the cities were struck down by 97's economic crisis. The crisis reignited Thai nationalism, and Luk Tung's tunes about life on the farm became the country's catch cry. Jonas didn't grow up in Bangkok, but in Thailand's northeast, as the son of Swedish school teachers. <laughs> it's out here that he first discovered Thailand's quirky country music. What initially drew me to it, I think, was living up country in Thailand and, and just experiencing a lot of the Thai way of life, how, how it is out there, you know, in the up country regions. Yeah, I just uh, gave it a shot and I think uh, I was pretty surprised, I was pretty taken aback actually, that the audience responded so positively to it. They were very, very enthusiastic. It's carnival time in the upcountry town of Lop Buri, and among the traditional sideshows, the singing blonde Swede is the number one attraction. To the Thais, his humble habits are simply irresistible. While the other tizzy Luk Tung acts get underway, Jonas's dancers are limbering up backstage. It's supposed to twist from the wrist and back here. Most of them also expat offspring, trained in Thai traditional dance. What happens when you start lady love? It's painful, <laughs> very painful. 
and our teacher, she would do it like all the way back. And when we start going, ow, ow, then she'd say, okay, now a little further. As the night wears on, the rains come down, while Jonas and friends wait and wait. Yep, relaxed, easy going. Don't mind, I'm their servant <laughs> in this capacity. Six hours later, some time after midnight, it's finally time for the show. It's a bit late, but we're already. <laughs> Clearly, the wait did nothing to dampen the fans' enthusiasm. <laughs> And the ties are friendly back. Or as Abba might have put it, gimme, 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 a man after midnight. Right now, I'm not ready to give my heart to any one Thai woman because I have to share my affections with all the lovely Thai ladies. Even with a line like that, this blue-eyed tie has no shortage of takers. <laughs>